Hi, my name is Deja. You might know me from TikTok. You might know me from maybe knowing me in real life. I don't know. But I'm here today because I decided that since I've stopped doing so many in-person tarot readings that I'd like to get back into them and um, I decided to do that here uh, on the internet. Now, I'm just going to start out by doing a couple of group readings. I'm currently in school to become a certified master hypnotherapist, which is crazy to me, but you know what? I love it. I love the school. I love the classes. I love what we're learning, and I love that it can be easily incorporated into my natural affinity for card reading and card pulling and everything. Today is August 8th, aka the peak of the Lionsgate portal. I just thought that, that was a good day to get started on getting back into tarot readings. <laughs> Today is the peak of the Lionsgate portal. We still have until the 12th. Right now, this is a great time to lead with your heart, following your heart. Uh, definitely always be practicing gratitude, but especially now. It's a great time to be manifesting, um, especially regarding creativity, confidence. Sirius in Leo and the sun is in Leo. So confidence, creativity, um, abundance, prosperity. Uh, these are all ideal things that we could be manifesting right now uh, with this energy from the Lionsgate portal. There's a lot of cosmic energy coming in with us. Please ignore the swelling in my cheek. Like, I know I look ridiculous, but I got lockjaw and I've had lockjaw for the past couple of days. So also, if you see me shaking, that's because I've been surviving off of smoothies. We're going to start out with some cleansing of the air. I've got some frankincense incense going. Got my torch. All right, and Lionsgate Leo energy, we are focusing on that crown chakra here, which is why I have the frankincense going, but we're gonna go ahead and take a deep breath in. And release. We have Tiger's Eye, a great Leo stone. Pyrite, a great abundant stone. I cannot remember what either of these are called, but they're the same thing. Rainbow Quartz, I think. Amethyst? I think this is Garnet. I'm so sorry, I cannot remember. I'm pretty sure this is Garnet. It could be Carnelian, but I'm pretty sure Carnelian is a little bit more yellow, so I'm gonna go with Garnet. Another, I'm pretty sure, Clear Quartz. No, Rainbow Quartz. I. I have a lot of man-made, uh, a lot of man-made crystals here with me today. Blue goldstone. This is absolutely a man-made material. It is said to help to connect to the higher level of consciousness, the fourth dimension, um, cosmic beings, uh, like aliens specifically. So this is my absolute favorite stone ever. That's what it looks like. I don't even need to do that, but yeah. So. I bring this with me, hold it very near and dear to my heart. I love my little heart shapes and I got my little butterfly. You can truly experience this however you'd like. You could be particularly drawn to a particular crystal and the card drawn for that crystal. You could enjoy the entire reading and resonate with the entire reading. It is entirely up to you how you choose to interpret these. This is a general reading. Truly, I believe that the cards can really only tell you things that you already know, things you may or may not want to hear. You will know when the card is for you. That's what that means when it resonates. You will know within your heart and within your third eye, your consciousness, your higher self, which cards and which crystals are for you. That being said, let's go ahead and get started on our shuffle. I actually was a professional casino dealer for like a hot second. So I have a really good like actual shuffle, but the problem is that these are much smaller than playing cards. 
Here are the cards and their corresponding crystals. We're going to start with the middle and then work our way from the upper left to the right and then down and then finish on the left again. Card number one with the garnet butterfly. Ace of swords in reverse. Card number two with the large cluster of rainbow quartz. Six of pentacles upright. Card number three, rainbow quartz point. Nine of pentacles upright. Smoky rainbow quartz, six of swords in reverse. Our polished amethyst. The moon upright. Unpolished amethyst. Temperance in reverse. Pyrite. We have five of swords in reverse. Our tiger's eye. Nine of swords, blue gold stone. Four of Cups in reverse. And our bottom of the deck with our Selenite, we have the Page of Cups upright. Before we get started, I always like to bring attention to the story being told just through the pictures. One thing that I immediately notice is that there is always somebody looking at somebody else. These two feminine figures right here who are staring at each other. The Nine of Pentacles staring at the Six of Swords who's looking back. On the moon, we have the wolves both facing each other. Temperance staring down five of swords. We have the four of cups and nine of wands facing each other in a sort of yin yang fashion to finish us off. And then I also wanted to draw attention to the queen figure in the six of pentacles card, which you can look at almost as if she's with temperance staring down the, the five of swords cards, or even. I also notice how she's facing the hand, which is holding the sword that is pointing toward the Page of Cups, who is still pointing downwards with that fish in the cup. So those are just a couple of things that I noticed right away. And what I'm seeing mostly is a lot of jumbled back and forth, um, a lot of like a lot of abundance, a lot of opportunity, a lot of self-pity i suppose a lot of um a lot of like like you can you can see the lack of faith here like the back and forth the constant questioning um but it's important that we get to this uh sort of center of all that back and forth becoming in harmony and being more of a yin yang um harmonious sort of energy it's natural to doubt um you know sometimes once we get used to the abundance that we're receiving we forget that it is abundance and so it is important to you know kind of still practice gratitude for those things that you once would have been so grateful for you know like that's that the realignment so let's just go ahead and get into the cards because i'm quoting from them before i've explained them so let's pay attention to a couple more details though so yeah like it it seems that almost everything has something facing it aside from the swords i'm noticing that the swords are going in the same direction and they're almost appearing as a cage like i'm seeing a lot of cage sort of figures here so yeah I think what I'm seeing is a lot of like, a lot of mental turmoil, a lot of emotional turmoil, a lot of questioning, a lot of doubt. Let's just go ahead and get into that. So this is what I've wrote in my journal for our Lionsgate portal uh, pull. Four, the Ace of Swords in reverse, inner clarity, rethinking, clouded judgment. Card number two, giving, receiving, sharing, wealth, and generosity. Card number three, abundance luxury self-sufficiency financial independence card number four personal transition resistance to change unfinished business card number five illusion fear anxiety subconscious intuition card number six imbalance excess self-healing and realignment card number seven reconciliation making amends past resentment card number eight resilience courage persistence test of faith and boundaries card number nine retreat withdrawal checking in for alignment card number 10 new ideas 
doubting intuition, creative blocks, and emotional immaturity. My personal interpretation, um, I'm seeing that we are having a lot of self-doubt, a lot of inner turmoil, questioning faith in everything, focus on meditation, gratitude once again for those things that we forget that we were at some point incredibly grateful for. Focus on inner self, inner strength, and confidence. Focus on the higher self, connection to self. Always remember that you have to give to get with the universe. Everything's a give and take. Everything's a back and forth. Everything's a push and pull. So always remember to give gratitude to receive abundance. It is there is a yin yang to all of this. There is a balance. We have a lot of resistance. And so we have to be persistent in our faith and in our trust and in our intuition and in our self in order to resist that sort of like unalignment, that almost insatiable urge to sort of take advantage of the abundance that we have worked so hard for and been so grateful for. Trust in the intuition and the self abundance is there this is the thing where we're kind of like not acknowledging that we do still live in abundance so we have to go back to remembering that the glass is still half full it's not half empty because we did not start at a higher level than where we are right now we started at a lower level so the glass is still filling up the glass is half full remember that at all times you know your worth and the abundance the universe has granted you always just because it may not look as luxurious or immediate as it once did trust that it will start to feel that way again trust in yourself the universe and oneness because we are all connected and really see the abundance for what it actually is really feel that abundance really recognize that abundance that you live in and the things that once were so easy to be grateful for and to finish off this reading we're gonna go ahead and ask three yes or no questions and we are starting off with we have a yes we have a no say I feel like that one's a maybe like it almost wants to move but sorry that last little one was me bouncing it but anyways that is our reading for today and I wish you an abundant and prosperous and grateful Lionsgate portal. Thank you for joining me today. If you like this reading, feel free to subscribe. I will also be opening up my personal readings very soon along with scheduling for pro bono hypnosis clientele. Um, it will not last forever. It's a limited time deal. Stay subscribed if you'd be interested in something like that. And um, once again, my name is Deja, uh, and I hope you have an abundant and a prosperous day. I'm gonna hold all my crystals in my hand at once, or in my hands at once, just to say bye-bye. This is how hypnotherapists say bye-bye. One, two, three, four, five, eyes open, wide awake. Thank you for joining me today. And once again, happy Lionsgate portal.